Okay, so today we are talking nested scenes and how they will make your whole streaming experience that much easier and that much nicer inside of OBS or Streamlabs. Anyway, let's jump in this video and let's talk about nested scenes inside of OBS. So here we are currently inside of OBS and as you can see, we have three scenes created here. There are no sources inside of this first scene right here. And this is gonna be one of our nested scenes that we're gonna be setting up inside of OBS. So let's just rename this scene right here. We're gonna rename it to NS Cam. So let's just do this and NS Cam. So inside of this scene here, we're gonna go add our camera to it. So let's hit the plus mark. We're gonna to go to video capture device. Let's choose our video capture device here. And then we're gonna choose our camera from the drop down list. There's our Elgato face cam. So let's click OK. And as you can see, we have our camera set up inside of this scene and it's gonna be a source set up in here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go down to main and we're gonna go to the scene here. And simply, we're just gonna hit the plus mark. We're gonna go to scene and we're gonna add a scene instead of an additional camera source. So let's go NS cam. And now we currently have another instance of our camera set up inside of our main scene. And it is gonna be pulling that information directly from the NS cam scene. So now we have our nested camera source set up inside of our main scene. If you notice as well, we have another scene also that is called labels. Inside of this scene, I had set up a few sources earlier to prior to setting this video up. We have a recent event source and we also have a sub goal source as well. And what we're gonna do is take advantage of this is because we have both of these inside of the scene, we can place them anywhere inside of a different scene. So let's adjust the size of our sub goal. Let's change that. And we're just gonna place it about right here. Then if you notice as well, we have our recent events. And if you see, they are like really, really big. We don't want them to be that big. So let's shrink them down a little bit as well. You can change the size however you want, but just for this, we're just gonna do like this right here and leave it up here at the top. That way we have a smaller event listing. Now let's go back to our main, uh, main scene. And inside of here, we're gonna go to hit the plus mark. We're gonna go to scene. And then we're gonna go to labels and we're hit okay. And as you notice, automatically we have our sub goal that automatically appears inside of our main scene. And we also have the event list that appears at the top as well. There's so many things that you can do by simply nesting things inside of a scene. And right, let's just, let's create another scene just for, just for the sake of things. So let's go ahead and new scene. And let's just call this one game scene. So we're gonna hit okay. And now we have another blank scene as well. So let's just go plus. Let's go to scene as well. We're gonna add our nested camera. And there is that. And you can move it around it just as you need. So let's just say for our game scene, we want our camera to be smaller. Let's just move it over here. Let's do this. So now we've got our camera set up. So let's add one more source as well. We're gonna go to scenes as well. And now we're gonna add our labels as well to this scene. And they appear right there. We can actually resize these, change them how we want them to be. So let's just hit the alt button. And we're gonna resize this so it looks a little bit differently. So let me go right here. Let's do this. And we're gonna go here. And we're gonna shrink it down a little bit more. So in the event that we want to move it anywhere on the screen, we can put it up here. We can leave it right there. We can stretch it back out. Whatever we do with inside of this scene here, it does not affect the labels from the other scene. So let's go there just for a second. So as you notice, they are exactly in the same place. They've not been moved, but now we have them inside of our game scene as well. Not only that, we add them for our main camera scene as well. And again, each one of them looks different because we've adjusted them inside of the scene rather than having to go back and place individual sources inside of each scene. So now that we have our sub goal here, we have our events list as well. And inside of our game scene as well, we also have that also, the event list and the sub goal also. 
So one of the great thing about nested scenes is that we can add as many sources as we want inside of each scene. So let's go back to labels for a minute. And if you notice right here, I've added an additional source and that is the alert. So let's go back to main. I don't have to add an additional browser source or alerts because it's already inside of the nested scene called labels. So let's just trigger the event. That way we see an alert on screen and we're gonna get tested. And now we've got Seagamer has committed to 30 days to hanging out in the lounge. This is a test. So now we see the alert from the nested scene called labels inside of our main scene. Not only that, we can go to our game scene as well. And if we trigger that same event, it will go off just like it did inside of the main scene as well. And again, it shows up just like it did inside of the main scene. And if you notice, we only have two sources inside of our game scene and it doesn't clutter up the amount of sources that we have. We don't have redundant sources listed inside of each scene. We don't have a browser source for alerts. We don't have an additional browser source for labels. And then we don't have another source as well as for recent events. They are all located inside of the labels nested scene. You can uh, invest and you can add so many different sources. You're not just limited to things like recent events, sub goals, alerts, and things like that. You can add videos, you can add camera listings, so many different things you can do with nested scenes to spice up your stream or YouTube videos or whatever it is that you're gonna be doing or whatever you plan to be doing. You can add a video inside of a nested scene and have it pop up on your screen whenever you switch to a different scene. So I recently did a video showing how to set up some snow effects using streamer bot inside of OBS. And what we're gonna do is uh, that is actually takes advantage of nested scenes inside of OBS. So let me go to scene collection real quick. We're gonna go down here when it's used Christmas. We are gonna get a message real quick. Let me hit cancel real quick. So snow pile right here. So inside of OBS, we've got our snow piles. We've had a bunch of different sources as well that are all off. And if you see, we've added snow and we've added so many different sources inside of this scene that will appear whenever we add that snowy effect for our main as well. So there I am right there at any the event that we turn on our snow pile and trigger that event with channel points. Everything that is inside of that nested scene will appear on this main scene as well. The possibilities are just absolutely uh, unlimited when it comes to making use of nested scene. So let me go back to where we were our nested scene. Let's go nested scene guide. So after you notice right here, we've only got two sources inside of our main scene and the labels one actually consists of three sources itself. And there is everything inside of our main game or main scene set up very nicely for us. Anyway, hope you learned something from this video. Hope you take advantage of it. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. And until then, much love, peace out, and we'll see you soon.